Gather your friends, open the door, light up the fire. It's Christmas time again. Shines for you. Good morning, beautiful souls. Just a reminder that it's not too late to enter my Christmas in July giveaway by just doing whatever you do on your channel. And you can hashtag it, AJ Christmas in July. If you do that, that will make you eligible to win a gift certificate from Amazon. Uh, this morning I thought it would be fun to show you how I make a card. Now the red base of the card is just a piece of cardstock paper, which is normally 8 by 11. You take that piece of paper and you cut it in half. So now you have two five and a half inch wide pieces of paper. You take one half of those papers and fold that in half and now you have the base of a card. Now the other day I did a Christmas in July event so I'm trying to use up my scraps uh, that I had from the Christmas in July event. So what you see here is you see the red base of the card and you see me taking a half inch by five and a half inch strip of paper. In this case, it's gold. And I'm placing it on the card with glue. Now you want to use wet glue. You don't want to use double-sided sticky tape because if it's not completely straight, you can straighten it after you put the strip down, which you can see that I straightened it just a little bit. Then you want to take the second um, half inch by five and a half inch strip and place it on the card. And you can see it overlapping just a little bit. Now remember, both of these strips are the same size, half inch by five and a half inch. And that's okay because you just take the one strip and you snip the end of it. And now, it looks like a perfectly wrapped gift, right? It looks like a present. Now, I had a couple of these circles left over from my Christmas in July event. So you could see that I'm positioning the Merry Christmas and, a, and the circle deciding what side I want again. You want to use the wet glue, any kind of wet glue, paper glue, your diamond painting glue, whatever glue you have and position it on the uh, Christmas gift, uh, you know, as it was, as if it was a bell. And then I had uh, the Merry Christmas. Now again, the Merry Christmas, I used wet glue. Why did I use wet glue? So that I can position it. I had a couple of Merry Christmases left over, so I'm just putting it on the uh, base of the card before I go ahead and uh, glue it. Now you do want to wet glue it. You want to decide what you're going to do. And again, don't use tape. You want to use wet glue so that you can, you know, switch things around should you need to. Now, this is the fun part for all of, all of us diamond painters because I decided I was going to use diamond painting Christmas stickers. So I got a few diamond painting Christmas stickers. I had a little sticker that I put in the corner, a little Christmas gift, and um, I went ahead and glued that. Uh, let's just watch me... Um, diamond paint this uh, card with the stickers.
Now, when you get done diamond painting your stickers, you do want to glue them for several reasons. One, because after there's sticky spots in the stickers, and you don't want the stickers to be sticky when you give it to your friend, whoever's the receiver of this uh, card. So you want to glue the drills with Tombow liquid. It's called Tombow Aqua Liquid Glue. I will put the link in the description. The other reason you want to glue your stickers is because they run these cards through a machine in the U.S. mail, and you don't want your stickers to get messed up. So that's the two reasons why I went ahead and glued the drills when I was all finished. The other thing I did was the upper right corner just needed a little something, right? So I went into my special drills and I got uh, three black drills and went ahead and added the drills in the corner here. Now, you could leave it blank, or you could put, I don't know, a little snowflake or something. You know, you could put whatever you want uh, on your card. I decided to go ahead and use um, little black drills that I had from uh, my diamond painting cards from previous. So, uh, there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this card. I hope you enjoyed the Christmas music. Don't forget to enter for the Christmas in July giveaway simply by doing whatever you do on your channel and hashtag it AJ Christmas in July. Not just your YouTube channel. You can do it on your Instagram. You can do it on your Facebook. Wherever you do it, that will um, enter you to... Uh, get a chance to win a gift card for uh, at least ten dollars we'll see we'll see and that i'm going to be doing that drawing july 31st so uh all right guys so i will see you tonight tonight being wednesday 8 p.m eastern standard time and I'll probably just make more cards just like you see here uh, because I want to get ready for, you know, my uh, crafts for hope uh, for, for Christmas. What I do is I do the event. I do the crafting event. And then I sell my crafts at the end of the event for donations and hopefully I get, you know, the money back for the crafts and raise a little bit of money for Crafts for Hope. Uh, the other thing I did with this card is I added a little white piece on the inside of it. Um, and this white piece that I'm adding here um, allows, you know, you to write on the card because it's kind of hard to see on red. So... If you would like to support Crafts for Hope, you could send a check or money order or a PayPal to the information you see coming up. All right, guys. See you tonight. God bless as always. You know that. Thank you for your support and love, and take care.